June 19th. This is the Education Committee in the Vermont House of Representatives. And we are just having a discussion on um, the, the things that are before the legislature at the moment that have education related issues in them. Uh, one is H209, a bill that we passed out of our committee before we, we broke um, due to COVID-19 that went to Ways and Means. And Ways and Means has an amendment to that that has been quite altered since um, we hit with the coronavirus. And we will do that. We're going to take a quick look at um, H961, which is the first quarter budget. And just to tell you where the Senate ended up, we'll just review that. And then um, S224 is a bill that came over from the Senate. Just wanted to let you know what it was. Um, I don't have an intention of taking that up at this point. And I'm assuming that our committee from a discussion before that our interest is just to see this through. Um, see through June with COVID related issues. So that's, that's where we are. Um, so uh, Peter, you've been following, I did not bring in ledge council on this bill, but Peter, uh, if you could just tell us what happened in ways and means um, that bill has gone to appropriations now. So. All right. Um, yeah, so if you all recall, uh, H209 was our um, school construction bill appropriating $1.5 million from the Ed Fund to do a statewide survey um, of public schools throughout the state. After it left us, it went to Ways and Means. Um, COVID-19 hit, the world changed. Uh, and so they have uh, um, kept the bill alive and reworked it a bit. And just a reminder, this was not a Jim Damery bill, uh, but it was uh, Becky Wasserman who was the Ledge Council on it. Uh, so uh, the, the, the sort of the essence of it remains alive, but it has been reconfigured to really target construction needs um, that have been uh, demonstrated as needed because of uh, COVID-19. Um, and with a smaller appropriation of $800,000, but this time from the Coronavirus Relief Fund. Uh, so some of the stuff that I think is the same is asking the um, Secretary of Education uh, and the State Board to update um, uh, the school construction facility standards, which I think is a role that the uh, State Board has, at least for now, um, and um, have that all in place by January 15th, 2021. Um, and a lot of uh, that work will be the same as what we talked about, but with the addition of um, anything new that has come about concerning COVID-19, such as distances and whatnot. Uh, and then it has the Joint Fiscal Office taking on the role of contractor uh, and to find the third party to conduct the analysis um, and with $800,000 again appropriated for it. So again, very similar to what we had, uh, a smaller amount of money and a more limited scope that it will be funded by the $800,000. Um, this will, this will culminate in a report due January 15th, 2022. Um, that will also include a look at how we've done funding. Um, and as we had, um, and a look at how other states handle it. Um, some of the challenges that we face uh, working in cooperation with um, the state treasurer, the Vermont Bond Bank, AOE, and any other relevant state agency. Um, and uh, for that, $30,000 has been uh, allocated from the general fund to do that study. One of the um, things that they've added that we did not have is, the, is a, is a short-term moratorium on any bonding. Uh, basically beginning July 1st, 2020 and ending on June 30th, 2021. So really just for fiscal year 21, uh, a school district will, shall not approve a bond for school construction in an amount greater than $1 million unless it's necessary to address imminent threats to physical safety and health. Um, probably not a significant impact. I'm not sure any school district is going to go forward with a bond in the next um, fiscal year anyway, just given the way things are. But that is more or less it. I think that um, uh, in listening to the discussion of ways and means, uh, but not necessarily participating in it, 
uh, that there is the ability to expand the scope of what the people who are doing the analysis of the buildings is doing. It just can't be funded by um, CRF funds. So there's not a, uh, wait, I've got to get my foot just moves up here. There's not a plan at this point for that to move out of appropriations in June. Um, so we will be standing by. Um, there's nothing for us to do at this point in time, but I thought that you would want to know where that is. And, and Kate, does that mean that it, it, it yeah. might be on track for when we return in August? I, what I know is that it's not on track for June. Um, it's one of those things that, that has the possibility of having uh, some room in August, particularly as we start to see how some of these funds are being used. Yeah. And, and August is really, a, a, it's, a, it's a fiscal year away yeah. <laughs> compared to where we are now. So, so that is that one. Um, so if there aren't any questions, I'll move on to the next one. And that is the Q1 budget. And that was related to the discussion that we had with Senator Baruf the other day on, on Tuesday. Um, the if you could bring that up if you if you found it, Avery. Um, part of this worked. Uh, unfortunately, I got a, a great idea that came too late, um, so it wasn't it wasn't presented. Um, so I think we're is it nine or ten? I think we're a nine or. Oh, no, we, this is the whole thing. Thank you. This is, this is perfect. So this is the efficiency Vermont language. Um, everything is the same, except we did do, let's go, scroll down a little bit. Jim, are you in the room by any chance? No, he's not. But I, I don't think, I think you're, you're okay. We added the piece, um, scroll down a little farther. Um, Okay, go down a little more. Is that it? No, that can't be it. Um, this looks like, this is just the amendment. Oh. Do you want me to pull up the full they had a, Yeah, the whole, the, yeah, the whole amendment, they had a whole amendment that was on there. Um, I think I can find it here. Um, it should be, um, might be able to find it quicker. Okay, here we are. Um, I should do it. Okay, so this is a minute. Where'd it go? Oh, I just had it all perfect and we just blew it. <laughs> Um, okay, let me see if I can share the screen. Okay, this was their amendment. Um, sure, I've got this right. This is the, um, Efficiency, wait a minute, I'm so sorry, folks. I don't know where we are. It's the Efficiency Vermont um, section. Kate, you may have just gone by it. Yep. Guidelines for ventilation and outreach education program with been Hold, oh, stop. Okay. Is, is it down in uh, C or uh, 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 no, 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 go yeah, on. I'm looking at program established. I'm, I'm really sorry, folks. It's number two. Number two, I think, Kate. Okay, okay here we are. So this is the efficiency. This looks like the language that we had seen. Um, the part that we agreed to, there was a, there was a clawback piece in here somewhere. You know what? It might be, might be, 
I'm sorry, but I'm going to skip this one for now. And I could just tell you that that in my conversation with Senator Baruth, that they accepted uh, our language for the money to go back into the CRF funds. Um, they did address the um, they did address our select committee um, in changing the language uh, that Representative Fagan included. Um, I sent that in, those were accepted. I, I'll try to find this for you. I really do apologize um, if we could get me out of sharing the screen now. Just moving into, um, and I'm gonna share a different screen. And that's this. After I sent recommendations to Senator Baruth uh, related to uh, Representative Fagan's language and the Efficiency Vermont language for the money to return to CRF for schools. Uh, I got this possibility for a change um, in our, the creation language. And this, this came from um, Nebi and uh, we have our language, the Senate language. And then there was this third category of language which really kind of pulled it all together. But um, Senator Baruth said I was too late uh, he'd already spoken to appropriations, so this was not considered, but I thought you should at least see it. I sent it up to um, to uh, Representative uh, Toll and Fagan, and I'm not so sure that they can do anything with it either. But it was pretty good. Chance to read it. Can you scroll it up a bit, please? Thank you. There is created the, the, select, the select committee on the future of public higher education in Vermont the committee um, to assist the state of Vermont in addressing the urgent needs of the Vermont State Colleges and develop an integrated vision and plan for higher quali high quality, uh, affordable and workforce connected future of public higher education in the state. Um, but I was not fast enough with that, so it was never presented. And I do apologize. It's nice, very simple and clear. I know. So that's that. Um, the third thing for us to review is a, a bill. I don't have Jim in the room. Actually, uh, Kate, if you wouldn't mind, on 961, yeah. just tell yeah. us the steps remaining from today to how it becomes a law. It has to pass, the, the, the House Appropriations has the bill now, they're reviewing it to see if they can just concur. If they concur, then it goes to the governor. Well, we have to still vote to concur, right? Or no? We're, no, we're no, because we already voted on it. We already we voted. voted. Yep. We're okay, voting. Thank you. Yes, we, we will vote to concur or not to concur, <laughs> but the rec we will wait to see what the recommendation is from, um, House appropriations, and okay. they, they are aware of this language now. The question really is, um, is it worth holding the bill up for this really good language, which slows the process down, making it take longer for the money to get out? Or do we just, you know, eat that and, and consider seeing what's going to happen in August, um, reconvening in January and helping to maybe refocus this a little bit? Our possibilities. Okay. There we are. Um, so then the last thing is S224, which is before the committee. Um, we aren't going to be taking this up now. Um, maybe you could pull that up too. So you, we could just take a look at what that is. Yeah, what is it? I can't remember. It's a miscellaneous ed bill. It's really oh, what it is. It was oh, a literacy oh, oh. bill, but it's now a miscellaneous ed bill. Got all kinds of little... A lot of stuff we've seen on there before. Yeah. So, and I'm just, uh, this is really just a meeting to say, here's what's happening right now. And then everybody have a good weekend. <laughs> so there's some AVIC language. Um, Three years old at this point. Yeah. There's AVIC language. And then we can go down. And then there's some... Um, yeah, it's still AVIC, I think. We've got Dylan's school district's language in there still, I imagine. 
No, I don't think so. I no. think that this, that's no, gone to another location. Excellent. Um, keep going down. I think we're still on AVIC, aren't we? Like yes. We're, uh, we're still on AVIC. Um, still AVIC. There's a small school. Okay, transition. This is still still AVIC. Yep. Um, oh, the oath repeal, right? The oath repeal. Yeah. Then um, there's a small school, which I think takes um, pre K out. Yeah. Of the count. And then. Um, oh, there's there's uh, Dylan's. There's, there's Dylan's. Yes, which I think he's found a spot for that. I think this that's appearing somewhere else. Dylan can weigh in on that. And then this one um, is about gender balance on UVM and and the VSC boards. So um, at the moment, um, none of these appear to be um, COVID related um, or necessary for us to stop action, um, unless someone else uh, disagrees with me on that. Kate, is that the last section in that or is there, were there a few other think, odds and ends tossed in? Yeah, that's it, keep going down. I'm sorry, I don't have Jim. Now then the effective date. Yep. Okay. Okay. So, Message. no problem waiting till August. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about the small schools grant um, language. But again, we've been dealing with that for yeah. at least two years. Is that that's the is that the Wyndham? Yes. It's that's well, it's it, it was a, I always thought it was just a kind of a correcting clarifying yeah. piece. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that will um, sit on the wall, um, I think until we return in August and um, otherwise we'll either pick it up in August or um, everything goes away and we start anew in January, whomever so, of us returns. <laughs> so Kate, really uh, kind of right now, our role as a committee is done um, if, if we go to vote to concur on 961, yeah. okay, um, we don't need to speak to anything in that, right? Um, we will probably speak to that section. Okay. And I'm happy to, to do that. Great. Uh, and then when does, oh yeah, so that's the, I'm talking, I was thinking about the uh, higher ed. I get confused. So the money is all in the Q1. That's what I was meant to ask about. Yes. That, uh, so you'll speak to that if that comes up in the if, Q1 if, budget. If necessary, I will speak to that. As, okay. as okay. the chairs of the other committees spoke to their CRFs, I'm assuming that they may want me to speak to that. So I will. And I, I don't know what I'll have to do, what I'll say if I have to speak on the higher ed study. <laughs> well, there's also the, that's where the HVAC stuff is. So you'll just right. have to say, within take any testimony, I assume. Right. Except for that one piece that we added. Yeah. And that we had really what's left as essential are this bill, H961, and the yield bill, we are must pass bills. Wait, we've not That's, seen the yeah. yield bill yet. Yeah. No. Yeah, still in the yeah. Senate. Yeah. It's have still they passed Senate. it? Yeah. No. And Dylan, that's your understanding as well, that that's all, that those are our requirements before we leave in June. Yes. Just yield and, and budget, Q1 budget. And Q, Q1 budget um, goes into effect in a couple of weeks, so. Yeah. Yep. So it's gonna happen soon. All right, folks, that's really all I wanted to, to bring you together to do that we, we, we're on for, t for Tuesday at 8.30 if we need it. Um, I'm not going to see that we will, um, unless the appropriations committee wants us to weigh in, which, you know, what, what are our choices? <laughs> it's okay. We should take the, our stuff out of our desk and, and whatnot. <laughs> Start to clean your desk. <laughs> yep. Please clean our refrigerator. Clean our artwork. The refrigerator uh, needs to get cleaned out. You don't know if you're going to be reelected. Or, or you yeah. Got to turn in your desk key. Yeah. I'm going yeah. to steal all these office supplies up here. Yeah, <laughs> good thing. <thinking. laughs> all right, everybody. Unusual. All right.
Yeah. To all you guys, happy Father's Day. Oh, happy thank Father's you very Day. much. Thank you very much. See um, you all uh, on the floor. Yep. Yep. Okay. Thank, thank you. you.